Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I am very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Leo for the second half of December. We're going to pull several messages and see what's coming your way. What do you need to know? What to expect? Leo, I am doing a holiday giveaway. So if you're interested in free personal reading, please check out my announcement video. It's linked in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and start Leo. Messages for Leo for the second half of December. This is the one. Okay. What else do we have here? Okay, messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Nice. You have Queen and King of Swords. I'm gonna see if that's connected for you. Sure could be. All right, let's go ahead and clarify um, your cards. Let's start with Page of Cups. Clarify Page of Cups. Eight of Six of Swords. Death and Reapers. Interesting. King of Pentacles. Ooh, the tower. And Queen of Cups. Interesting energy here. A lot of court cards as well. Hmm. Okay, what I see here is uh, definitely some transformation for you, Leo. You're moving away from something. You're moving away from something. You, there is some uh, death and rebirth in, uh, in your energy. Definitely new cycles beginning. Uh, there is this transformational energy of a tower. Now, this tower is uh, very different from a traditional tarot tower where people are falling uh, out of their tower on fire. This tower has butterflies. This tower is definitely a transformation and tower. Something that you cannot avoid, something that um, has to happen for you. And with uh, this energy of death and rebirth, this is going to be something sudden and very, very significant for you. I feel like you're moving away from something. I feel like you're moving away from something that in your romantic love life. I feel like you are moving away from this king of pentacles. What it looks like to me is that this is for those Leos who've been in a, a quite a long-term relationship here with uh, the skin of pentacles, with some earth sign, somebody who's financially stable, somebody who might have even been supporting you financially. But uh, there seemed to be a little bit of lack of um, love and emotion in this union. Maybe it was there from the uh, in the beginning, but now um, that foundation has crumbled and if the feelings faint away. I do see some change here. I do see you moving away from this. I see you possibly going for some new romantic offer or you might be just looking for a new romantic offer. You might be looking just um, embrace, to embrace this energy of Queen of Cups. I feel like you want to balance your emotions. I feel like you want to feel like you are in power again. And you are. You are, the, uh, you are embracing here the energy of Queen of Cups, although you are a fire sign. I feel like you're balancing your emotions here. I feel like you're going uh, to um, honor your feelings and um, go through this transformation. The transformation is happening for you. Tower is usually outside events. It's not something that you can control. The rebirth is here for you. What you can control is this moving away. Moving away uh, from something that is not um, is no longer supposed to be on your life path. And you're moving to the Kama Shores. Six of Swords is definitely talking about moving to the Kama Shores here. There is some transformation here. There is some death and rebirth here. Definitely something to do with your romantic uh, love life. This is what I see. This is what I see. Some huge transformation, sudden transformation when it comes to your romantic love life. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Oh, look at that. Nice. Hmm. 
six of cups, four pentacles, high priestess, and the magician. Strong energy, so for major arcana here. You have this energy of uh, Queen of Swords. This is some air sign that is uh, popping into your energy here. And I feel like it has something to do with uh, helping you to work on your uh, financial situation. I feel like this has something to do with uh, um, helping you to uh, advance in your career and get the recognition for the amount of effort and work that you put into your career. This is somebody who's very fair. This is somebody who has um, a possibility to make decisions. Uh, this could be your boss. This could be an energy of a HR person if you're working in a big organization here. But I do feel like this is somebody who's recognizing you for your talents. This is somebody who's recognizing you for your talents and somebody who knows that um, you have a potential to be the star. You have a potential uh, to do very well in your career and uh, to advance in your career. I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. I, I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of warmth. Uh, and uh, this is something that you've been manifesting. Look at you here. You have High Priestess, a highly intuitive card, and the Magician, the Manifester. I do feel like this is something you've been manifesting. I feel like you've been manifesting uh, improvements in your financial situation. You wanted to have... Uh, more money <laughs> saved and this is what's coming your way and i strongly feel like there is this energy of queen a queen of swords a possible air sign doesn't have to be female or male any gender here but who's uh, recognizing you who's recognizing your talents who's recognizing your skills your knowledge your experience and uh, recognizing you for the job well done that's what i see here definitely your manifestations are coming to life all right, let's go ahead and clarify Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, please, for my Leos. Look at that, Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords, interesting. Mm, six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. And page of pentacles all right okay what i see here is that there is some uh, new offers coming towards you uh, when it comes to your finances and you're a little bit indecisive i feel like this has strongly something to do with um, your actually your uh, finances will be looking good in the position where you are right now but there is some new offer coming your way now this could be that uh, you are pretty comfortable in the job that you have right now but there is a, a new job being offered to you maybe in a different location maybe in a different branch of your organization or maybe a completely new organization and you're a little indecisive you're indecisive what is going to bring you better financial results here uh, you might be thinking that the job that you have right now is uh, pretty comfortable and you're not sure if you want to take a, uh, go for something new Knight of Swords is definitely talking about possibly going for something new. It feels to me like this um, new job or whatever this new financial offer is, is going to be something that starts small, but it has a potential of growth. So this is your decision to make here. Do you stay in the position where you are right now, where your finances uh, are fine, but possibly you kind of reach the top here. Queen of Pentacles is on top. And maybe you don't see further movement, possibility of further progression in the job that you have right now. Or do you go for something new? Do you, do you shake up your uh, situation right now? Do you shake up your, your comfort zone? And do you go for something new that uh, is possibly starting small but has a potential to grow? This is your choice to make. That's your choice to make, Leo. Both options look good to me, definitely. But it's your choice to make. You're a little indecisive here in this uh, second time of December. You might need uh, to get a little bit more information, to think about it a little longer, to actually make a decision there. Let's go ahead and uh, find out what this Hermit is about. Hermit. Page of Swords. Mm. 
page of cups, nice. Four of cups. <laughs> Ace of pentacles. Ten of swords. And you, the strength, Leo. So you're coming into your own reading here with this Leo card, just reminding you how strong you are. And um, what I see here is that you're learning something. You're learning something. You're definitely um, in this energy of solitude, solitude here with this hermit. You're going within and you're trying to um, understand what your star is. You're trying to understand what your wish fulfillment is. It strongly talks to me about your romantic love life here. I do feel like uh, you might be dreaming about having this... Um, um, beautiful uh, romantic relationship this fun adventurous romantic relationship here and um you're a little bored where you are right now you're looking for something new you, you, you're looking for a new spark you're looking for a new beginning you're looking for a new offer that could have been that you just uh, been um uh, that you've just ended recently um a, rom uh, a romantic union you might have been just uh, uh going over a breakup here could have been uh, that you walked away from something from a, a union that just uh, wasn't uh, wasn't fulfilling to you anymore and you've been very strong you've been very strong during this process you made this decision on your own and uh, you've decided what is better for you here what is best for you here and uh, you're on a path of learning you're on a path of learning here you're a path of uh, uh, possibly taking a new leap of faith here you're, it almost feels to me like you are learning what is it exactly that you want in your romantic love life. You're learning here to what is it exactly you want in your next romantic partner. It seems to me like this hermit energy here is uh, you going within, checking in with your intuition here, checking in with your heart and kind of almost making um, uh, <laughs> a description of your next romantic partner here. What are you looking for? Do you looking for somebody stable? Do you looking for somebody adventurous? Are you looking for a long-term relationship or do you want just to possibly have fun? This is the state I see you in. I see this is for those of you, for those of you Leos who just ended a relationship here. I feel like you're in a state of going within, taking a little break here and um, just um, realizing for yourself what is it that you want in your romantic love life. That's what I see. All right. The Empress. Let's figure out what is this Empress here for, for my Leos. Clarify Empress. Nine of Cups. Okay. Huh. All right. So, what do we have here? You have Empress with Nine of Cups, the Chariot, Eight of Wands, and Four of Swords in reverse. All right. So what I see here, Leo, is that you are embracing your power. You do, rem you have this energy of strength of you here in a previous spread, and now you have this energy of Empress. Empress is somebody who's embracing the energy of all four queens. Doesn't have to be gender specific, but it's somebody who's very abundant, somebody who's very emotionally stable, somebody who's very nourishing, very loving, very self-confident, and has a lot of love for herself, herself, himself. Nine of Cups, you're looking for your wish fulfillment. You're looking for your wish fulfillment when it comes to your romantic love life. I feel like you're finally out of your head. I feel like you finally know here. You probably went through this process. This could be for those of you who walked away from something that uh, wasn't fulfilling anymore. Somebody who went through this hermit state that uh, going within and learning what is it that they want. And now you're rushing for a win. You're rushing for a change here. Chariot is a uh, energy of a wind. This is uh, definitely a moving energy here. And the Eight of Wands is also very fast moving energy. I do feel like there will be um, a lot of uh, options uh, rushing uh, to you. A lot of options when it comes to your romantic love life. And you will be the one to choose. 
people see you as an empress, people see you as somebody who is very attractive, somebody who has a lot to offer. And you do, you truly do. There could be a cancer coming towards you as well. But you definitely are, uh, you, you're finally getting out of this energy of uh, um, being on your own and just getting into your head. This is a very similar energy also to the Hermit. So I do feel like you are getting out of the solitude energy, embracing the energy of the Empress here, and now knowing what exactly is your wish fulfillment, what is your star, what is, your, what is it that you're wishing for in romantic uh, love, and you rushing towards it. You're rushing towards it and it's coming towards you. This is what I see. This is what I see. Interesting transformation here in this period of time. All right, let's clarify this King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? What is this energy of King of Swords? <laughs> Five of Cups. Page of Wands. Seven of Cups. Interesting. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Devil. And Two of Pentacles. All right. So what I see happening here is you getting some romantic offers here. The, you have this Five of Cups. And on traditional Five of Cups, usually the person does not see the two full cups. Now, this Five of Cups is very different. This Five of Cups is you already see the energy of this new romantic love that is pouring into your vicinity. You see the options that you have here. You have Seven of Cups here as well, which is also talking about our options here, options in love. So you do see a lot of options. You could have an air sign, somebody who's very mature, somebody who could be even older than you here, somebody who's very stable, somebody who's very logical, very fair, very honest person coming your way, they could be coming your way with a romantic offer. You might have uh, a younger fire sign coming towards you as well. You could have a Capricorn coming towards you as well. And uh, you're a little indecisive here. You might be dating during this time. You might be juggling a few um, people as far as, um, you know, just dating and getting to know them here. And you are a little in your head about it. <laughs> you are struggling to make a decision. Knight of Swords is uh, definitely in your head about it. I feel like you might um, have some uh, not just this one of this relationship could be toxic. It may be a, uh, uh, has, it might have a lot of passion, but maybe lacking a little bit of emotional connection there. And you're a little indecisive here. You need to make a choice. You're a little bit in your head about you don't want to go back to some karmic relationship. You don't want to go back to another toxic relationship here. So you need to make a choice. Take your time, don't rush it. Um, the King of Swords is talking about uh, a logical decision, about rational decision, about somebody who's making the decisions based on a lot of information, very well thought through decisions. And this is what you are called for to do here. But you do have this romantic offer pouring into your energy here. This is what I see. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Do know that one of these offers could be a little toxic here. A little devil energy around you. But it could be just a Capricorn. All right. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you, Leo. What other messages do we have for Leos, please? What other messages do we have for Leos? Messages for Leo. This one right here. Nice. I like that. All right. Hmm. New opportunities. All right, so I do see changes in your financial situation. I do see growth in your financial situation. There could be some surprises unfolding here as well. Now, you could go for that new opportunity here. There is definitely opportunities that are open to you. And uh, you're called to make a change. You're called to make a decision here. Do you end your current situation and go for something new? There's some endings and new beginnings. Definitely new opportunities here. Definitely new opportunities that have something to do with your money situation. You also could be getting a holiday bonus here. There could be some nice surprise coming with that as well. You could be getting some gift that is um, very financially rewarding for you as well. 
Well, lots of changes. I do see a lot of changes. You're ending your year and you're starting with something new and uh, there's a lot of changes coming your way. This is what I see, Leo. This is what I have for you for the second half of December. I truly hope that you found this helpful. If you did and if it resonated with you in any way, please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And also do remember about the holiday giveaway. Check out my announcement video. I hope to see you here again. Bye for now.